So you've just finished tracking an amazing vocal, and you get down to the mix stage and you realize, wait a minute, it needs to sound a little bit edgier. Well, if you want to do that, you can use this Scream 4 Sound Destruction Unit. There are 10 different damage types here. Let's play back a remixed version of the song Say by Olivia Broadfield. I kind of changed the way in which she phrased her melody. Check this out. Definitely a beautiful performance. Let's turn the damage on now. We can increase the damage, make it a little crunchier by turning the damage control up. Now we're currently in the overdrive section here, and parameter one will tweak the tone. See how it gets brighter as I turn it more to the right? It also increase the presence. Kind of drives it even more. Now if I want to shave some of the frequencies that I don't like that I've created with the damage, you have this second stage here. Check this out. See how I pulled out the mids and the lows? It's a little bit cleaner now. Next, we have this body section. It's basically a resonant body for this sound. Wait a minute, that kind of sounds like an Ottawa effect. Well, that's because I have the Ottawa knob turned all the way up. We can decrease that effect. I'm going to play around with the resonance in that body and the scale or the size of the body. Now it becomes smaller as you turn it to the left. It's kind of counterintuitive there. That's pretty cool. And we have five body types. Take a listen. Each one of them has a kind of timbre to it. I kind of like that one. Let's just do a before and after. Check this out. Before. And after. That's pretty cool. If we add some reverb. Check this out. Now we can go through all 10 of these if we'd like, but I'm just going to show you a couple. If you want to have some digital damage and you're feeling a little outside, you can go down to this digital damage setting where parameter 1 changes the resolution. And parameter 2 changes the bit rate. I'm not really crazy about that one. Let's check out the ring modulation. Might be cool to have that as a background kind of sound, right? We have tape emulation, the speed of the tape, and the compression. Try some of these out. You'll be surprised what you can do to an already beautiful performance.